Colorado school leaders had hoped the return to the classroom would bring kids back as close to normal as possible, but clearly it hasn't worked that way. The start of the school year this year really has been taken over in many ways by the surge of the Delta variant. Back and forth fights between parents, schools and health departments over masks and a severe shortage of school workers. This morning we're going in depth on what struggling districts are doing to just stay open. Denver 7's Patrick Perez kicks off our coverage from Jefferson County. Jeffco Public Schools says it sent out an email, a text, a phone call to parents Monday afternoon warning them that several bus routes will be canceled Tuesday morning. Well, some of those parents did not get those alerts. The district is aware and is investigating why, but that did mean that some kids were waiting for a bus that never arrived. And because of the district's extreme bus driver shortage, there could be more canceled routes in the future. Katarina Sandoval says her seventh grader at Mandalay Middle School was one of those students forced to find another way to class. For it to not show up, she was she was very upset. She learned of the canceled route only after calling the school. And the school said, oh yeah, no, that bus isn't running today. Just totally <laughs> Totally casual. That bus isn't running today. Jeffco Public Schools has been canceling routes on a rotating schedule as a way to help with its driver shortage. Some routes will have a bus driver that day and other routes will not. So of course this is very difficult on the parents. That means each time her daughter's bus route gets canceled, she has to take her to school and pick her up. It's not an option for every parent. I was recently laid off, so I'm able to take her to and from school. But as soon as I start working again, then there will not be anybody to available to just take her in the event there is not a bus. The school district says expect to see even more canceled routes because of its driver shortage. In a statement saying, quote, we are currently working on addressing this issue as well as communication to our community this week about the need to begin canceling more routes and possibly cutting routes altogether. The district has gone to extreme lengths to improve its staffing situation, but like in many industries, a spokesperson says those efforts have gone nowhere. We really do love the Jeffco School District. I think this has got to be a major frustration for them as well. Parents understanding that may not last if the district cannot find a solution soon. Patrick Perez, Denver 7. Colorado schools need more than just bus drivers to keep schools going. They also need to find ways to keep staff in other areas. Jeffco Public School says it has lost more than 30% of its nurses in just the last four months. That means the nurses that chose to stay are spread pretty thin. They're not only adding on the work of COVID, but now they're adding on additional schools and additional work on top of it. We were working late nights, we were working weekends. I mean, some of us were putting in 60, 70 hours plus a week. According to the National Association of School Nurses, just 40% of U.S. schools have a full-time nurse on staff, 35% have a part-time nurse, and 25% have no nurse at all. You can't educate students without a teacher, but Colorado schools can't find enough of them either. So let's dig a little bit deeper into those numbers. According to the Colorado Department of Education, there were nearly 7,000 open teaching positions for last school year. That accounts for around 13% of all the teaching jobs in Colorado. 235 of those openings remained unfilled for the entire school year, around 3.5% of the openings. Finally, we look at other parts of the country where staff shortages are even more severe. In Massachusetts, the National Guard has been activated to serve as bus drivers just so that kids can make it to school. The goal here is to try to make sure if we have vehicles, um, we put people in them who are qualified to drive them and, and do what we can to make sure kids can get to school because obviously the, the driver shortage is creating some real issues. 90 members are already trained on driving transport vans to pick up students and get them to class. A total of 250 will eventually assist in that effort. So now we want to hear your thoughts. We, how can we attract more people to work in education? Are you worried about the reliability of your school's transportation department? What else should we know? Send us your comments to 360 at thedenverchannel.com.